but of course there is a wider context in which all this research is taking place. And that context is uh, the situation we are undergoing a historical transition now, wanted or not. I call it the naturalistic turn in the image of man. There's a lot of knowledge coming up that is emotionally unsettling. Neuroscience contributes to the philosophical project of self-knowledge, but it hurts us. Uh, it is difficult. Well, for and, example, this well, difficult knowledge. We are less rational than we thought we are. We are much le more vulnerable beings than we thought, and so on. We're less moral uh, than we like to think we are. And there it is, this thing, mortality you don't want to talk about. So um, I think what we actually would need to do as societies, we have to create a new cultural context for this very difficult transition process, else we will just get swept away by the psychosocial consequences in this shift the image of ourselves and the new technologies, brain neurotechnologies that are emerging. And the, the core question for me is, is if there can be in some sense a fresh and new way of a fully secularized spirituality. So to put it differently, if intellectual honesty, like the core of the scientific attitude, and an absolutely clean form of spirituality can actually coexist or can't, and I think that uh, um, is also what you asked about. There are I've, a number of things I think people are not fully aware of. Let me just make three bold statements here. Uh, I think the opposite of religion is not science. The opposite of religion is spirituality. And um, the scientific attitude, the strictly rational attitude, can be described as a special case of the spiritual attitude to life and the world. And actually, the scientific, very sober, rigorous approach to it all, and the spiritual um, approach to reality and life and science, stem from the same values, from the same normative spring or core, actually. And it has something to do with truthfulness. I guess the English word is veracity, the will, the pure will to absolute veracity, but also accepting the obligation to, for, for veracity towards yourself. That is where spirituality departs from religion, and that is also where there's a bridge from spirituality into modern science, because that is just what it is, you know. Uh, ultimate veracity also towards what you know and what you don't know. And I don't know if this is something you were trying to get at, but that is what I would describe at the, as the wider context in this period we're now going through together, mm -hmm. all of us, wanted or not.